Ahora sí. Gracias. Hello. People, hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, people. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Can you hear me today? Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. I'm so sorry, ladies, gentlemen. I am eight minutes late. Shame on me. I don't know. Zoom is very slow in my computer right now. It's raining here in Mexicano City, where I live at. Maybe that's the problem. So again, I'm sorry for my delay. I really apologize. So what's up? How you doing, guys? How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm better. Thank you for asking. I am much better than these last two days. Um, these last two days, I was a little sick, you know, with a little fever, with a little irritation, but I'm doing very good today. Thank you for your question, Miss Maria. So welcome, everyone. I'm very happy to have you around. Today, we're going to have a very important class. Really, really important. Why? Because we're getting to the higher levels. You know what are we studying today? What we studied yesterday, what we actually studied, which is the modal verbs. Modal verbs. This is more advanced English, guys. This is more advanced. So pay attention to today's class. Participate, make questions, take notes, all right? And let's continue learning English. We're gonna go straight to the class because the agenda is huge tonight, okay? So do you remember the module bird that we mentioned in the last class? Do you remember, kind of? Do you remember or do you not remember? We saw module verbs. Do you remember which one? Should. Should, okay, that was one, yes. Should, lo estaremos estudiando muy pronto. A ver, ¿qué otro? Which other one? Go. Oh. I'm sorry? Cool. Could. Yes. Could, okay, I understand you. Could, yes. Okay, AC, lo vamos a estar estudiando el lunes, on Monday. Yes, we're going to study could for making formal requests. But tonight, we're going to study a different one. Do you remember the other one, Edwin? Must. Must. Ya casi llegas, ya casi le pegas. Me lo estás mencionando May. todos. May, ya casi. Will, will, will. Must. Can. Bingo, 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 bingo. Would. W-O-U-L-D. Would. That's the module where we're going to reinforce today. Yesterday, I taught you that we use would to um, report formally, right? To report technical problems. Do you remember how to report a technical problem? Do you remember? Yes. Uh -huh. Give me an example. Report a problem, uh -huh. report a problem, a technical problem. Can you report a technical problem, please? So, so. 
you don't remember the way to report a technical problem using would? Um, me gustaría reportar un problema con mi computadora. How do you say that? I like to report a problem with my computer. Oof, thank God. Thank God. I have one student that remembers. Yes. Mónica usó la contracción. I'd like. I'd. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. That's the contraction form. The normal form is I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is the problem? What is it, Monica? What is the problem? Class, what is the problem with the computer? It doesn't, it doesn't turn off. Yes, turn off. <laughs> it's very slow. Como estamos hablando de una cosa, it. Verbo to be, it's very slow it doesn't turn on um it doesn't seem to work huh okay 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 edwin report a problem edwin report a problem uh-huh go ahead i will no recuerdo lo demás el verbo es like. Decíamos que con would uh -huh. el verbo más común que usamos es. Ah, ok, ok. I would like to report with my. To report an issue. To report a problem. Problem. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Repeat, I repeat. Like, I would like to, to report a. To report problem. To report a problem. Report a problem with my cell phone. Okay, and what is it? What's the problem, Edwin? It doesn't seem to work. Oh, okay. Let me ask you some questions. Ya yo como soporte técnico. Good, good, good. Vamos a ver, Marilena. Report a problem. Go ahead. Okay, Tatiana, can you report a problem, please? Mm, digamos que sería lo mismo de ayer o, o como... Así es, así es, mi estimada. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál era la forma? Me gustaría How reportar... May... Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Me gustaría reportar un problema con... Uh -huh. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? Bueno, prepárese ahí. Entonces, vámonos con... Who? Karen, are you ready, Karen? Can you report a problem, please? An example. Hello, Karen. Ramos. Hi, teacher. María, okay. Hi, María. Can, can you hear me? Porque no le, no le contesté. Me dejó en visto, María. Mm. Sí, lo que pasa es que andaba haciendo otra cosa de la niña. Perdón. No problem, Miss. Yo entiendo. No problem. Preparen I sus ejemplitos, por favor. Ajá, María, go ahead. I would like to report a problem, problem with my refrigerator. Ok. Repeat. I would. 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 I would like to report. A Repeat. Problem. Report. 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 I would like. I would like. To... I would like to report a problem with my refrigerator. With your refrigerator. Ref, 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 refri. 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 Refri.
Refrigerate. La forma corta es fridge. Fridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and, and what is the problem with your fridge, Maria? My fridge. That's no. Doesn't? It doesn't. It doesn't freeze. Freeze. Right. Felicidades en corregir el, 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 ese verbo de ayer, ¿verdad? Muy bien yeah. hecho, María. Good job. Fantastic. Me encanta ver el progreso. Tati, ya está ahí, Tatiana. Miss Vanessa. Yes, no, maybe. Julio, can you report a problem? Yes. Oh, yes. Julio, go ahead, Julio. Good evening, Hi. sir. Welcome. Could you help me, please? Yes. How may I help you today? Ah, en serio me dijiste que te ayude o cómo? Yo pensé que iniciaste así el roleplay ya. ¿Ah? No, estaba aquí. Es Ay, que, que acaba de entrar. Sí, acaba de entrar, pero es que aquí estaba buscando la lista de los, de los más comunes, pero no lo encontré a la mano rápido. Ah, en no. En la segunda vuelta, mejor. Ah, en la segunda vuelta. En el segundo round. All right, no problem. What about, I think, Tatiana, do you have access to your microphone, Tati? Estoy teniendo un poco de problemas con el internet, por eso es que no lo escucho muy bien. Oh, ahora sí lo escucho mejorcito, Miss. ¿Nos puede dar un ejemplo? Report a problem. Okay. Tatiana in calling. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Good evening. This is Tatiana. I Hi Tatiana. How may I help you? I am calling from Teshupor with my cell phone. I would like to report a problem with my cell phone. I like to report a problem with my cell phone. Excellent, excellent. For example, I would like to report a problem with the fax machine. Contraction, I'd like, I'd like to report a problem with my laptop. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Siempre acuérdense de practicar lo que vemos en la clase anterior, ¿ok? Porque lamentablemente no podemos repetir, ¿ok? Solo podemos hacer una pequeña práctica al respecto. Entonces, siempre en una clase, la información es bien importante que la repasemos. No después de la clase, sino al día siguiente, ¿verdad? Para refrescar, para retomar, ¿right? Para no venirnos como... como como decimos en español, a cero a la clase, ¿verdad? Siempre hay que repasar lo de la clase anterior, porque Teacher Caleb les seguro les va a preguntar. <ríe> Vámonos al attendance. Attendance, Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Bueno, Alex eh, me cuenta de que está un poquito mal de salud, guys. Eh, no me le vayan a cuestionar este día, porque eh, él está haciendo un esfuerzo para conectarse. Sin embargo, no podrá participar. Ok, um, Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díaz. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. Presente. Ok. Um, Edwin Alexis Rodríguez Cortés. Present. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Irvin Joel Morán González. Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Salguero. Julio Caridad, oh, I'm sorry, Julio César. Julio César, Caridad Valiente. Present. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. 
Lara Guadalupe Fuentes de Melendez. Maria Elena Linares Diaz. Present. Thank you. Mr. Mario Alberto Hernandez Vasquez. Monica Maricela Martinez Pineda. Present. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla Lopez. Raymond Antonio Escoto Avarca. Roberto Antonio Ramirez Gonzalez. And Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. Wow, de 20 participantes, tenemos ocho participantes. Mm, what's happening with the students in this module? That's the one million dollar question. Hmm. It's a Friday mode. It's a Friday mode, yeah. Y yo soy celoso porque yo no tuve estas oportunidades para aprender inglés, right? I had to pay a lot of money very expensive in the monthly payments on the books two years paying every month and you guys have this big opportunity at no cost fíjense cómo es la vida y no todos podemos eh, tener el mejor aprovechamiento de, de este programa ya hubiera deseado yo en mis tiempos Allá por el 2000, cuando yo solo sabía el verbo to be, <ríe> haber tenido oportunidades así, ¿verdad? En línea, sí. presenciales. Yo Pero no había nacido. No había nacido, ¿verdad? No, pues, y si ya las no. nuevas generaciones ya tienen otros beneficios más grandes, ¿verdad? Entonces, hay que valorar lo que tenemos, guys. Let's see. Entrémonos ya en el topic. Vamos a comenzar con un video. We're going to start with a video. Se los voy a compartir vía chat. Necesito que... I need you to watch the video carefully. Tómense su tiempo. Watch the video carefully. I need you to take notes. Necesito que tomen notas. Ok. Y... Um, si tienen alguna pregunta, me la van a hacer al finalizar el video. Ok, so I'm going to share it with you. Me hacen el favor, yo no puedo abrir WhatsApp aquí en mi compu porque si lo abro, se me pone todo lento, me colapsa todo. Entonces, les voy a compartir acá el link y ustedes me ayudan ubicándolo on the WhatsApp chat. This is a five minute video, almost six minute video. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes, okay? I'm going to give you 10 minutes for you to watch, take notes, y preparen cualquier duda que tengan y lo resolvemos cuando volvamos. 10 minutes. Watch the video, please.
Okie dokie, folks. I hope you finished watching the video. Um, do you have any question about the video? Hello? Hello, guys. Do you have any question about the video? Hello, students, do you have any question about the video? No. Okay, only one student answers me. I don't know what's happening. Um, let me share my screen so we can continue with the session. Please be so kind and confirm if you can visualize my screen. Hello, can you visualize my screen? Yes, yes, you can see. I can see. Thank you for answering me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to dig deep in this topic of module verbs. We're learning to speak. Antes que nada, when you use every time, every time you use the module verbs, such as would could, may, must, and can, you yes. are being polite. You are speaking politely and um, very professionally. Repeat, polite. 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 And Polite. professional. Professionally. Professional. What is the meaning of polite? Amable. Cortes. Okay. Professional. Super professional. And you sound like that when you use the modal verbs. This is a modal verb would okay en el video bueno no me hicieron ninguna pregunta del video quiere decir que lo entendieron perfectamente right lo cual me alegra mucho um, vale aclarar un punto how do you say in english querer I want I want correct I want. Now, when you say want, when you say want, Querer. I want this. I want that. I want a car. I want a different job. You are sounding a little bit uh, too demanding, you know? If you will, um, a little rude, per se. Okay. In your house, with your mother, with your father, with your wife, with your husband, with your brother, with your sister, with your friends... You can use I want, you know, because the confidence level is high. You say, hey, I want a soda. Repeat, hey, I want a soda. I want, I want some food. I want a hamburger. I want, I want demanding. You are, when to this is I want, I want, you, you are demanding 
something. Do you understand? So it's a little rude. It's a little heavy. ¿Qué les digo ustedes? Demanding. demanding, demandante, como exigente. Uh -huh. Como que te estoy exigiendo. Hey, I want. Como que yo quiero esto, o sea, por ley. It's a little rude. Uh -huh. No quiero decir que no se puede usar, sino que sí, pero um, en un nivel diferente, ya de confianza. Entonces, por eso es que en un restaurante usted no debería decir, I want um, meat, I want grilled meat, I want a soda, I want... Um, o sea, sí lo podemos decir, pues, pero suena un poquito rudo. Entonces, en un, en un restaurante, cuando vamos a ordenar, en un hotel, en cualquier ambiente, ¿ok? Eh, professional, you better use wood. Mejor sería que tú me uses wood, okay? So I'm going to share my screen one more time so we can go over this online session. I need everybody's participation. When you make a question, when you make a question, would you like, repeat, would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Vaya, un mesero, por ejemplo, un mesero, guys, en un restaurante, es mandatorio, es mandatory que use esta expresión. No les podría decir, hey, do you want to order? Do you want to order? Es como que, que ¿van a ordenar o qué? No, entonces, would you like to order? Are you ready? Would you like to order? ¿Le gustaría ya ordenar? All right. Let's continue here. We use would, would you like... We use, would you like to offer? To, to offer. offer something. Mm -hmm. Would you like my help? Yes. Would you, would you like my help? Would you like my support? Would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like some food? Would you like? Would you like some water? Okay. Offer. Offer something politely, professionally. Or to? Invite, invite somebody. Invite somebody to do something es también para invitar a alguien a hacer algo hey would you like to go with me to the party would you like to go to the cinema it's an invitation how do you say in english le gustaría bailar conmigo how do you say that Would you, would you like to go dancing with me? Um, bueno, después would del you two, dance? después de ese, ajá, va en base, ajá. Would you like to dance? Would you like to dance with me? Yes, I would. Let's go. Puts, puts, puts. Comenzamos, ahí va. Puts, puts. All right. Entonces, es para... Decir, teacher, se puede decir, would you like a uh, dance? Así como only. Would you like... Would you like To dance. Ah, ok. Le pones la preposición to. Would you like to dance? Yes. Would you like to dance? Uh -huh. Ok. In simple present, the question is, do you want? Sin embargo, suena un poco hueco, un poco uh, demandante, como decíamos. Too demanding. Do you want? Or do you not want? O sea, ¿querés o no querés? Do you want? Repeat, do you want? Do you want? Mm -hmm. Suena muy simple, muy hueco. Si yo le digo a una chica, do you want to dance? Aquí yo le diga, would you like to dance? It's, it's a lot different. Would you like? Continue, uh, Monica. Would you like some cake? Or? Or do you want some cake? 
Uh -huh. Es igual a decir, do you want some cake? Pero es más formal. Would you like some cake? Continue. Would you like some coffee? Good. La entonación es buena porque es pregunta. La entonación. Rising intonation. Hacia arriba. Would you like some coffee? Okay. Thank you, uh, Miss Monica. Continue, Miss Laura. Can you continue, please? All right, thank you. Uh, continue, Edwin. Okay, would you like to go to the cinema? Do you want to go to the cinema? Uh -huh. Would you like to go to, aunque se vuelva a repetir, porque este to, este to es ir, ¿verdad? Para ir, y este to es a, a el cine. Would you like, would you like to go to the to the to the cinema repeat guys would you like to go to the cinema would you like to go to the cinema to the cinema would you like to go to the cinema repeat would you like some cake would, would you, you like, like some, some cake? cake would you like some coffee would you like, would you some, like some coffee, coffee? Would you like to go to the cinema? Would you like to go to the cinema? Would you like to go to the cinema? Excellent, Edwin. Gracias. Tengo dos participantes repitiendo. Good job. Los demás están en mute repitiendo en sus casitas. I hope. I hope. Eh, también con palabras WH words, con palabras de pregunta de información. Por ejemplo, where would you like to go? Repeat, where would you where, like to go? Where would, where you, would like you like to go? go? Hay bastantes um, como círculos con, la, con las palabras que comienzan con W, W. Where, y acá otra vez. Would, so abrimos bastante. Where would you like to go? Repeat. Where, where, where would you like to go? Would. 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 Okay, the letter L is silent. Okay, you don't pronounce the letter L. Okay? You don't pronounce the letter L. Where would you like to go? Repeat, where would you where like to go? Where would you like to go? Would. Where would. Where would you like to go? Oh, la L is mute. You don't pronounce the letter L. The letter O is silent. You only pronounce the letter U and the letter D. Would. Where would you like to go? Repeat. Where what What would you like? Would you? Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like some cake? Where Would you like some cake? Would Esmeralda? Would. Would you would. like some cake? Uh huh. Would. Repeat. Would you like, like some cake? coffee? Would you, would you like, like some, some, some coffee? coffee? Um. Would you like to go to the cinema? Or you like Would you to like to go, go to the cinema? Cinema. 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 Cinema is Spanish. In English is cinema. Cinema. So, would you like, we use it to offer, for example, would you like some coffee? I'm offering you coffee. Would you like some cake? I'm offering you cake. Or to invite, make an invitation. For example, where would you like to go? Or would you like to go to the cinema? Okay. Can you give one example, making an offer or making an invitation? Volunteers? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, sir. 
Would you like some tea? Fantastic. Would you like some tea? Muy buena entonación, muy buena pronunciación. Acuérdense, no es solo la pronunciación, es también la entonación. En este caso es una pregunta. Good job, July. Good job. Next. Would you like to go to the beach? Woohoo! It's Friday. It's Friday. Let's go. <laughs> Would you like to go to the beach? Fantastic. Somebody else? Would you like to go to the world? Wall or wood? Wood. Would you like? Would you like to go to the world? Mm -hmm. Would you like? Este supernatural, guys. Repeat. Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like to? Would you like to? Would you like to? Thank you. Maria, do you have any example, please? Mary? Elena? Are you there? Or you're working with your daughter right now? Karen, do you have an example? Laura, do you have one? Would you like to go to eat? Uh huh. Uh, agreguemosle algo ahí. Would you like to go to eat pizza? Huh? Would you like to eat breakfast? Would you like to eat lunch with me? Would you Would... like to go to eat diner? Dinner. Dinner. Yeah, diners. Existe diner. Solo que diner es, es un lugar. Diner Ajá. es como un comedor. Uh -huh. Se escribe igual. Uh -huh. Pero dinner es el tiempo de comida de la noche, ¿verdad? Dinner. Ok. okay. So far, so good. Yo creo que vamos bien ahí, right? We're good. We're good. We're good. Entonces, para affirmation, this was question. This was a question, right? Would you like to offer something or to invite someone to do something? Now, an affirmation is I'd, I'd like. I would like. I'd, the, the, I'd, 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 I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I like. I like. I like. The complete form is I, I would, like. would like. Repeat. Would I would like. like. I would like. Or I would like. I would like. Aquí está. I'd like or I would like. I would like. Incluso si usted dice en la forma Completa, guys, sigue siendo super formal and professional. Usémoslo. I would like. I would like. I would like. Okay. So we use I'd like and I would like to talk about something that we. Something that we. That we want. So something that we want to do. Something that we. Want. Want something that we need, want. something that we want, something that we need. Repeat something that something we that want, want, something that we need, want. or something that we want to do. Okay, let's go over the examples. July, help us with the first example, please. I I like some water, please. Water. I like some water, please. Water. Water. Mm -hmm. I like some water, please. Great. Me gusta cómo se te oye acá la contracción, Julio. Good job. ¿Qué estás diciendo? En una forma formal estás pidiendo I want. Some Me gustaría water. la traducción de eso, teacher. Es correcto. 
es diferente que yo te diga, hey, yo quiero agua. <ríe> a que te diga, hey, yo me gustaría, ¿verdad? Me gustaría algo de agua. ¿Cómo suena? Es a lot different. Claro, en español es diferente, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, guys, these are the modal verbs. Y por eso se llaman modal verbs. Porque son special verbs. Ok. Continue, July. Next example. I'd like more information about this product. 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 Para que suene bien gringo, right? Product. Mm -hmm. I'd like more information about this product. <laughs> nice. I like more information. Okay. In the Spanish? Me gustaría, Me gustaría más información sobre este producto. Mm. Te estoy exigiendo. ¿Te suena pesado? No, ¿verdad? Te suena professional and polite. Let's go over the next examples. Let me see. Maria, can you help us, Maria, with the next example? Is Mary in the house? What about Karen? Can you help us, Miss Karen Elizabeth? Hi, um, yes, go ahead, please. Yes. I'd like to go to the zoo. Zoo. Uh, zoo. I want to go to the zoo. It's different. I'd like to go to the zoo, right? Que te podrían decir ahí, oh, okay, let's go. Pero I want to go to the zoo. I'm demanding it. Como que ya casi llévenme, ¿verdad? O me llevan o me enojo. <laughs> I want to go to the zoo. Repeat. I like to go to the zoo. I like to, I go, to... Like to go to the zoo. You know what is the zoo? Do you know? Yes. Yes. Okay. The house of the animals, huh? So lucky for. Yes. Continue, Edwin. I would like to have a lemonade. Vean, eh, lemonade. Do you know what is a lemonade? Do you know what is a lemonade? It means limonada. Okay? Lemonade. Uh -huh. Do you like lemonade? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I like. Y vean. No, yes, I do estaba bien, Monica. Yes, I do. Okay. Ahí puedes confirmar luego. I like it. I like it. Eh, bueno, entonces, lemonade is a drink. Y vean qué verbo estoy usando. Have. Have. Tomar. Uh -huh. Have. Tomar. Puedo usarlo con food y puedo usarlo con drinks. ¿Ya? Yeah? I like to have some pupusas. Two pupusas. <laughs> I like to have a cup of coffee. I like to have a cup of coffee. Uh -huh. Se me antoja, ¿verdad? Have. What would you like right now? What would you like? What would you like right now? Mm -hmm. Personal, personal example. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I want, I I want like to, to have a hamburger. Vamos con María. Repeat, María, for the class. I'd like to have a, a hamburger. All right. You'd, you'd like to have a hamburger right now. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, Julio, do you have one for us? I'd like to go to the movie. To the movies? All right, today or this weekend? This weekend. Okay, me too. Me too. I like to go to the to the movies to watch the um this one um Jurassic World. I haven't watched it yet. Uh -huh. Hi, Edwin, you have one example? I would like to have a chocolate. A chocolate? 
a chocolate. hot chocolate yes you were right me too me too <laughs> okay Laura do you have one example for us Esmeralda do you have one example I like to have a tea a tea okay yes. okay 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 sounds good Laura tenías uno um, I'd like to the, to have a soda. Eh, ahí vamos a decir some soda. Mm -hmm. some I would soda. like to have some soda. Repeat, Laura. I'd like to have a some soda. Ah, mm -mm. some soda. Some Lo que pasa soda. es que soda no se puede contar, entonces por eso no usamos a, ah, ¿ok? Vamos a decir okay. some soda. Ok. Thank you so much, Laura. Um, Esmeralda, do you have one example? Can you repeat your example, please? I'd like to have a tea. A tea. A tea. Le sale mejor la contracción. Imagínese, the contraction le sale mejor porque el would, tenemos que pronunciarlo claro. Would. Okay. A ver, ¿quién me faltó ahí? Let me see, let me see. Edith, do you have one example for us? Maybe not. Let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. Like. Like. We use like plus things or people. To say that we think these things or people are nice or good. Remember, like plus things. For example, I like coffee. Si solo usted dice, I like coffee, ¿qué está diciendo? ¿Que quiere café? No. Que usted piensa, I think coffee is good. No estoy diciendo que quiero, right? For example, I like soccer. You know what is soccer? No? I like soccer. You like soccer too? Yes. <laughs> Vaya, y si hablamos de personas también, ¿verdad? I like John. I like Shakira. ¿Mm? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? I think... John is nice, is good looking. Yeah? Can you tell me one like? You like? Can you tell me one of your likes? I like movies. You like movies? Yes. What do you like better? Action movies or terror movies? Comedy? Comedy, yes. Comedy movies. I like, I like comedy movies too. And sci-fi movies. Sci-fi movies. <laughs> like Jurassic World. Like Underworld. Yes. Oh, okay. You're being enterado. Enterado. Okay. What about your like, Monica? What do you like? Um, I like chicken. You like chicken? Yeah. And who? And who do you like? Who do you like? Who is for persons? Who do you like? I, guys. ¿Quién me gustaría? O, o solo quien le gusta. Solo quien le gusta. For example, guys, I like, I like Jennifer Aniston. Also, I like Jessica Alba. She's an actress. Who do you like, Monica? Maybe an actor maybe a singer, yeah, maybe a closer person, I don't know. 
For example, do you like uh, Romeo Santos? Uh, yes, I like. I like him. Him. Para él, I like him. Me gusta él. I like yes, him. I like him. H I M him. Um, oh, decimos el nombre. I like Romeo Santos. What about you, Laura? Fuentes. Eh, la misma pregunta. Yes, we're talking about likes. Mm -hmm. What do you like or who do you like? I like the color green. Mm -hmm. Say, say, I like the green color. Um, I like the green color. And I like Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Yes. He's handsome. Huh? He's good looking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good, good. What about you, Edwin? What can you tell us? Está interesante esto, me gusta. Ed? Sorry, sorry. Voy viniendo que estaba terminando ese nightmare. Ok. What about you, Maria? What do you like? Or who do you like? I like going to the beach. And I like Leonardo DiCaprio. Of course, Leonardo DiCaprio is super handsome. <laughs> you have super high expectations, uh, Miss Maria, huh? <laughs> okay, what about Karen? Do you have an example, Karen? Esmeralda, do you have an example for us? Oh, uh, music um, and Re romantic. Repeat, please. I like I like music, romantic. Oh, um, repeat, repeat. I like I like music. romantic music. In English, M my my favorite. Yes. Hey. Uh -huh. My. My favorite color is black. Black? Okay, yes. okay. <laughs> All right, and good job. Uh-huh. And purple. And purple. And yes. who do you like? Who do you like? Who do you like? Who? Who do who? you like? Who do you like? I'm asking you for a person, Esmeralda. Oh, but, who? Um, who? Remember, what do you like is a thing, is una cosa. Who do you like is a person. It's a person. Mm -hmm. Who do you like? Um, it's Sister Evora. Repeat. I like, I like who. Solo sería I like más el nombre. I, I like, like César Évora. Uh -huh. So what you're saying is that you think that César Évora is nice, is handsome, right? Thank okay. you for your participation. Let's go with the next one. It says we use like plus ing, right? For example, I like dancing, ¿ok? O usan el tú con el verbo base o usan el gerundio después de like. I like dancing. Usted puede decir, I like to dance. Repeat, I like to, to dance. dance. No, 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 no. I like to dance. Usando dance. La, el infinitivo. O usted puede usar esta forma. I like... Y el siguiente verbo en gerundio. Dancing. ¿Cómo prefieren? I like to dance. Or I like dancing. I like dancing. I like dancing. Esta regla no se puede hacer con todos los verbos. Like es un verbo especial. Por eso sí se puede infinitivo y se puede gerundio. Next example. Next example. Edwin. 
Okay, I like going to the cinema. I like going I, to the cinema. I like going to the cinema. ¿Cuál sería la otra forma usando infinitivo? I like go. I like to go. To go to the cinema. Correcto. Hay I que like manejar las dos formas. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Nice job. We. Uh -huh. Y por qué en el otro ejemplo dice I enjoy. ¿Dónde? 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 Aquí. Sí. I sí, enjoy porque dancing. estás diciendo que como gustar es como disfrutar también. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Que lo disfrutas. Ah. I enjoy dancing. Eso estás expresando. Cuando tú dices, I like, estás diciendo que tú disfrutas algo. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Si tú dices, I like listening to music, estás diciendo que tú disfrutas escuchar música. Ok. Enjoy. Ok. We use do in questions. Do you like coffee? Do, do you like you going like to coffee? cinema? Yes, I like. Yes, I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then like versus would. Compare the following sentences. For example, I like tea. Repeat, I like tea. I like tea. What are you saying? I think tea is good. I think tea is good. I, Eso es lo que está expresando. Is good. I like tea. Mm -hmm. it's, if you say, I like some tea, repeat, I like some tea. I like, I some, like tea. some tea. What is the context? The context is I, I want, I want some, some tea. tea. Some okay. tea. O sea, que solo decís I like tea es que te gusta en general, right? Pero no, los, no estás pidiendo eso. Si decís I like some tea, I see. I want some tea. Question. Do you like tea? Do you like tea? Si yo les hago esta pregunta, no les estoy ofreciendo. Solamente quiero saber. ¿Qué quiero saber? Sí, me gusta. Yes sí, o no. Me Esta me es una yes, no question, ¿verdad? Si en general te gusta. ¿Quieren hacer una pregunta general? Uh, do you like movies? Do you like tea? Do you like uh, going to the gym? Do you like? Solo quiero saber yes o no. Pero offer, offer, offer something. Would you like? Would you like some tea? That's different. Yes. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna go over more exercises. Exercises. Read the following sentences. With do you want or I want, write sentences with the same meaning using would like, would you like, or I'd like. Okay, examples. Let's go over the example. I want some coffee. Demanding. I want some coffee right now. That's kind of demanding. Formal. I like. I'd like some coffee. Repeat, I'd like some coffee. I'd like some coffee. Demanding, do you want? La otra forma, do you, do want, you want some coffee? Some coffee. O más formal, would you want. like some coffee? ¿Qué creen que usamos en el restaurante? Do you want some coffee no, or no. would you like some coffee? Excellent, excellent. Bueno, hagan los ejercicios. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you this link. Do the exercises so you practice. Eh, ojo ahí con el. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Con el apostrofe. Cuando hagan las respuestas, les sugiero que lo cop cop copy paste para que no se los tome malo. Hagan el test. Ok. Y luego comparamos. Son, let me see, son 10 ejercicios. 10 exercises. Do the exercises. And then we compare. Ok. I'll give you 10 minutes. Okay. 
What's up? What's up? How are you doing? So far, so good. Did you finish the exercises? No, I own no. Not Por yet. Tercero, ah, vaya, vaya. Take your time. Take your time. Only 10 teacher. Only 10. 10. 10 exercises. Yes. Did you finish the 10 exercises? Yes. Yeah, it's easy, huh? It's easy. Okay, let's analyze. Let's analyze. Give me your answers. Julio, I uh, can you tell us number one, please? Sorry, can you repeat, please? Can you tell us what number one? Can you read number one, please? Yes, now. Is, mm -hmm. I want to go out there. I want to go out tonight. Uh-huh. Uh, I read, would you like to go out? Let me see, let me see, let me see. So yeah, I like uh -huh. to I like to go out tonight. To go out. I like to go out tonight. ¿Qué estaría diciendo ahí? Can you interpret that, Julio? Quiero salir esta noche. Quisiera salir esta noche. Ajá, ajá. Quisiera salir esta noche. Más que viernes, ¿verdad? Cabal cayó ahí. <laughs> I like to go out tonight. Thank you, Julio. Good the job. Next teacher, the, yes. next, the next hero, hero is uh, where do you want to go? I read where will you to go? Ah, okay, okay. La dos, ¿verdad? Number two. Eh, la cinco, five. Ah, espérate, espérate. Vamos a llegar ahí. Vamos a llegar. Take it easy. Take it easy. Um, Laura, number two. Laura, can you help us? Okay, María Elena, can you help us with exercise two? Okay, Esmeralda, can you help us with exercise too? Not to be now. Exercise teacher. ¿En cuál va usted, Miss? Es que ya le hice como dos o tres veces y tres que estoy con el teléfono me está costando. El ah, computador no me encendió. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Si estás en el teléfono cuesta un poquito más. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Eh, Edwin, do you have number two? Uh, ¿De cuál? Number de two. Primera, segunda, Number two. Ok, ok, voy, voy, voy. Speak in English, Edwin. Speak in English. Ok, I go. I would like... Wait, number two is a question. Do you want to come with us? Yes. And um, would you like with us? Would you I'm like sorry? to come with us? Would you like to come with us? Yes. Would you like to come with us? Very good. Te gustaría venir con nosotros? Mm. Number three, Monica. you want a sandwich? Would you like a sandwich? Entonces, así algo flat, algo pesado. Do you want a sandwich? ¿Verdad? Pero así con cortesía, ¿verdad? Would you like a sandwich? Like a sandwich? Ah. All right. Thank you, Monica. Nice job. Let's go with... Esmeralda, no, Esmeralda está trabajando. Edith, do you have, Edith, do you have number three, number four? I'm sorry. Hello. Hi, Edith. Hey, kid, I am going working. I am working. Oh, you're working right now? Yes. Oh, my God, lady. No trabajé mucho, miss. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, all right, all right. No problem, Miss, no problem. Entonces, gracias por estar conectadita con nosotros. Let's see who can help us. Let's go back with July, number four, July. Me pasé a la siguiente. Ah, te pasaste al siguiente slide. Bye, bye, bye. No hay problema. Okay. Monica, do you have number four? Okay. I want a bottle of water, please. I'd like a bottle of water. I'd like a bottle of water. That is I'd correct. I'd like a bottle of water. Yes, that is correct. Thank you so much. Let's go over number five. Volunteer for number five, please. Hi. Go ahead, please, Miss Maria. Where do you want to go? Mm -hmm. Where do you like? Like go to go to go. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to go? A donde te gustaría ir? Okay. All right. Good job, guys. So far, so good. Next. I want to learn French. I want to learn French. What is the correct I one, like guys? I like to learn French. Me too. I like to I learn, learn French. Pregunta. Puedo decir ahí, I like learning. Yes. Correct. I like to learn French. All right, all right, all right. Number seven. Do you want, what do you want for dessert? Repeat, dessert. dessert. What is dessert? Do postre. you know? The postre. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Esa sí me la aprenderé, dijo aquel. Dessert. <laughs> What do you want for dessert? Formally, formally. Would you like to want for dessert? Mm. What would you like? Repeat, July. What would you like for dessert? Correct. Uh, what? What okay. would you like? ¿Qué te gustaría? What would you like for dessert? Great, great, great. Number eight, number eight. I want to stay with you today. I like to stay with you today. Uh -huh. Excellent. Me gustaría quedarme contigo. Ahora, stay, permanecer. Quedarse o permanecer. Stay. I'd like to stay with you. Ooh, romantic, romantic. Number nine. Do you want to meet my family? Would you like to meet my family? All right. Ahí va seria la cosa, ¿verdad? Con esa pregunta. Would you like to meet my family? ¿Te gustaría ah, conocer? Next. I want an answer. I'd like an answer. Correct. An answer. An answer. An answer. An answer. Vaya, démosle ahí. Check answers. ¿Cuánto les dio ahí? Ahí les dice el resultado. Así como me lo mandó July, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto? Bien. 70, 80, 90. 10%. 10, no puede ser. 
Y ya le di, le di, le di, le puse I, I'd like to, I would you like, y, y le agregué el to al I'd like para ver si por eso me salía mal, pero no, nada, no sé si porque el teléfono. Mm, ok, ok. Bueno, váyanse ahí donde dice exercise 2. Yeah? Yeah. Ok, let me share my screen. Ok, exercise two, choose the correct, oops. Choose the correct forms to complete the following sentences. Number one, let me see, Monica. Can you see it, Monica? A ver, analicen todo el contexto, porfa, hasta la última palabra de la oración. Ah, no te escucho. I can't hear you, Monique. Monique, I cannot hear you. Um, I think you have problems with your audio now, Monique. Unplug it and plug it again. Uh -huh, Edwin, go ahead. Option A. I would like to travel to Spain one day. Option A. Yes. Are you sure? Are yes. you sure? A hundred percent, cien por ciento, a hundred percent. I know, Monica, I know. Here too, in Mexicanos, eso de ser. Okay, Edwin dice que la primera, I like travel, dice. I like travel, is correct? I would like to travel. Monica dice, I would like to travel to Spain one day. That's option three. This one is correct? Yes, it's option three. It's option three. ¿Por qué, mi estimado Edwin? Porque si te fijas, el verbo es like, ¿verdad? Y no pueden chocar dos verbos base porque aquí está travel. Entonces decíamos que usábamos el, um, el infinitivo. El infinitivo es la preposición to para dividir los dos verbos, ¿ya? I would like to travel. La otra forma que no está acá como opción sería como gerundio el segundo verbo. Ahí no usaríamos la preposición to, diríamos I like traveling. Pero como no está esa opción, la que se adecua es I would like to travel. No se olviden. Like to go, like to travel, like to eat, etc. Let's go, Mar Mary. Number two, please, Mary. Linares. Miss Linares. Okay. What about Laura? Can you help us with number two? That's not correct, Monica. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Esmeralda ya se desconectó. No, aquí está Esmeralda. Uh-huh, Esmeralda, number two. Can you help us with number two, please? Exercise. Um, me retrocedí bastante dicho. Hmm. What about um, July? Can you help us with number two? 
I like playing computer games with my friends. Option A. Option one. Correcto. One. Es correcto. I like, solo I like, tal cual. I like playing mm -hmm. computer games with my friends. Estoy hablando de algo generalizado. Right? It's correct. Number three. The options are, do you like, would you like, or I'd like. Volunteers? Would you like? Repeat. Would you like a glass of water? Correct. Would you like a glass of water? Y el compañero responde, yes, please. I am thirsty. Repeat, I am thirsty. Thirsty. I'm thirsty. 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 What's the meaning? What's the meaning of thirsty? Sediento. Yeah, that you need water, that you need to drink water. That's totally right. Let's go to number four. Maria, can you help us with number four? Susan, Susan would like to work in our school next year. Wall or wood? Would like. Correct. Suzanne would like to work in our school next year. Okay, good job. Number five. Monique, what do you think? Number five. We have to have dinner, having dinner, or have dinner. Option C. Option C. To have dinner like that. All right. All right. What time would you like to have dinner? A qué horas te gustaría? Number six. Oh, ya está todo. ¿Qué pasó? I'm tired. I'd like to go to bed. <laughs> hey, muy bueno. I'm tired. I like to go to bed. Okay, in one moment. One moment, miss. Ah, no, hombre. Yo pensé que me la estaba diciendo natural. Usted me está leyendo las seis. Oh, my God. I'm tired. Aplica para nosotros ahorita. ¿eh? I'm tired. Estoy cansado, apunten esos este, adjetivos por, porfa como thirsty que era sediento, tired que es cansado I'm tired, I like I'm tired I'm tired, I'd like to go to bed early today <laughs> I'm tired, I like to go to bed early today that's correct Esmeralda good job Edwin, can you help us with number seven? Number seven. Yes, sir. We like watching TV during dinner. This one? Yes, option B. All right. Number eight. Um, let's go with uh, July. Option B. Would you, Do you like? Would 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 you like? Do you like your new job? Ok, es una pregunta general. Do you like your new job? 
Yes, nine. it's fantastic, right? Number nine. Option, option one. Option A. What do you like? Do you like something to eat? Are you sure? Option what did you say? A. Would you like something to eat? Correct. Would you like something to eat? And the other person answers, no, thanks. I am not hungry. No estoy hambriento. I am not hungry. Okay, number 10. Number 10. I'd like to travel more often. <laughs> Excellent. Bueno, vamos a ver si no nos equivocamos en algún contexto. Let's check. Check answers. Woohoo! We got a hundred. Congratulations. Nice job. Very nice job. Bye. Tenemos aquí number three. Let me see number three. Vaya, este me lo van a hacer de tarea. Okay. Este, it's a homework. This one is a homework. Okay. Exercise three. It's a homework. El lunes lo vamos a verificar. All right, people? Ok. Pero eh, veo que hemos captado muy bien esta información. Let me open up my Insafor manual. Ok, here we go. Let's go to the Insafor manual now. Please confirm if you can visualize my screen. Can you see it? Yes? Yes, I see it. Okay, you can see it, okay. Yes, I can see it. Excellent, excellent. How to use would like to? Use would like to, to say what you want especially when making offers and requests. Especialmente cuando hacemos offers and requests. ¿Qué es request? What's the meaning of request? Requerimiento. Ajá, en una palabra más sencilla es como una uh, solicitud. Petición. Cuando hacemos una petición o una solicitud, no demandamos, ¿verdad? Tenemos que usar would. Singular form. Can you go over the singular form, um, Edwin? Yes. Uh huh. Can you read the examples for the singular form, please? Okay. She would like. She would like to send to the reports today. She would like to send the reports today. Mm -hmm. A ella le gustaría enviar los reportes ahora. Uh -huh. Continue, Mr. Edwin. Okay. He would like to meet the new employees today, tonight. Muy bien, en la contracción, hid. A ver, todos, guys. I would. Repeat, I would. I would. I'd. I'd. Repeat, you would. You would. Mm -hmm. You would. He would. He would. He would. He would. He would. She would. She would. She would. She would. The, the she okay. It she would. It would. It. It. We would. We would. With. With. They would. 
they good. Dade. Dade. Okay, very good, very good. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. This is the singular form. Let's go to the plural form. Vean, para el plural tampoco cambia, right? No hay na nada de cambio siguiendo la misma estructura. Let's go over the plurals. Let's go, Monica. Can you help us? Can you use your microphone? No. Okay. Lara, can you help us? They go like to speak to a supervisor. They would. 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 They would like. They would like to speak to a supervisor. Hay problemas entonces, miss. They would like to speak with the supervisor. Next. Would like to ship this container tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Container. Container tomorrow. Would like to ship. Would like Would to ship like this to container ship tomorrow. This container tomorrow. Yes, yes. So this is for the plural forms, all right? Sorry about my dog. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go over the attendance. Let's go over the attendance. Be quiet. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacon. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present teacher. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Irvin Joel Moran Gonzalez. Josué Eduardo Gutierrez Salguero. Teacher. I got you. I got you. No problem, Irvin. Thank you for being connected, sir. Josué le había puesto que sí, no. Josué no está. Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Present teacher, your screen, your screen is shaded. Yeah, re <laughs> Sorry, repeat. Your screen is shaded. <laughs> really? I don't know what's happening. I think the internet connection. Okay. What about Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar? Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Melendez. Maria Elena Linares Diaz. Teacher. Yes. Este fíjese que ella aquí en Santa Ana se fue la luz un momento y perdimos el wifi de la computadora porque está lloviendo bien fuerte. Por eso ella se desconectó ahorita porque acá se fue la luz. Sí, pero. Yo porque de... estoy desde el teléfono. De todas maneras, ya le puse aquí que si vino, eh, siempre tengo que mencionar el nombre por cuestiones de protocolo. Y gracias ahí por notificarme, Miss. Aquí en San Salvador ya comenzó a llover fuerte también. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Eh, Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. 
Mónica Marisela Martínez Pineda. Present. Patricia Beatriz. Oh my God. So Patricia was definitely in the class. Let me see. Ramon Antonio Escoto Avarca. Oh my God. Okay, um, Roberto Antonio Ramirez Gonzalez, absent, and Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Are you around? No. Okay, very good. Vamos a ver, Miss Monica. ¿Qué aprendimos este día, Miss Monica? ¿Qué se me le quedó? ¿Qué aprendió de nuevo en esta sesión? Cuéntenos. The use one. Want to and would and like. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Este, ¿cómo percibió la información? Do, do you understand? You have um, doubts. You have confusions. Is clear as horchata or is clear as crystal water? It's easy. It's easy. Wow. <laughs> Eso es music to my ears. Música uh -huh. para mis oídos. Yeah. Ok, bueno, entonces hacer invitaciones, ¿verdad? Usando wood, haciendo offerts. offerts. Thank you, Monique. Thank you. A ver, uh, Julio, ¿cómo sentiste esta sesión? ¿Fue algo personalizada? Porque tuvimos menos del 50% de los estudiantes. Justamente, eh, sí fue muy, muy personalizada. La verdad que <risas> eso se hizo todavía más participativo para todos. Y este, concuerdo con Mónica, no sé si el tema fue, sería quizá, o es un tema muy fácil, o, o sí se pudo, ¿cómo se dice? Pudimos aprenderlo muy bien y claro que lo pudo explicar muy bien. Entonces yo creo que al final este tema, al menos a mí me ha gustado mucho por el tema de los modal. Ajá, ajá. Guys, esto sí ya, ya estamos entrando a una temática más avanzada, ok. Este, me gusta que me digan que ha sido fácil. Eh, la verdad es que esto de los modal verbs, guys, se tiene que ir despacio. No se puede enseñar todo de un solo. Entonces, eh, me ha parecido muy bien que um, aprendiéramos el, el would, el would like en esta clase, en esta sesión. Lamentablemente no estuvieron todos los estudiantes. Me imagino que van a tener dudas. Lo que les quería decir es que would like es exactamente para lo que vimos ahora, para hacer offers, ¿verdad? Para hacer invitations para hablar cortésmente, para pedir algo cortésmente. Ahora, cada modal verb tiene un uso diferente, tiene un contexto diferente. Entonces, el lunes vamos a ver could. Could es siempre un modal verb, pero es para un contexto diferente. Entonces, ahí nos vamos a despegar de, del would y lo que hemos aprendido este día, right, para irnos al could, que siempre es un modal verb, pero se va a usar en escenarios diferentes. Please study. Please review your classes. Revisen sus apuntes antes de la clase. Recuerden que yo les pregunto. Y básicamente, pues, el lunes es nuestra última clase porque el, um, el martes culminamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, el martes... Estamos ahí con las presentations. Espero que tengamos una súper buena asistencia el martes y con la encuesta de satisfacción. Esa sería sola nuestra agenda el martes. Entonces, el lunes, guys, eh, aprovechemos nuestra última clase eh, para terminar con CUD. Y pues, desde ya ha sido un placer, ¿ok? 
you have any question? Do you have any comment for me? No, no, no. Okay. Well, no. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everyone. Rainy weekend. And I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. So long. Be Thank safe. You. See you later. Good night. Thank Good you. Good night, sweetheart. Happy weekend. Good night, teacher. Happy weekend. Thank God you, bless you. God bless you, my brother. God bless. Take it easy. Good night. Bye. Bye, Monique. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome.